and hello hello again so after I finished my last run I was well, I I'm still a little bit salty about the boss so yeah no time to lose main weapon upgrade yes please and 75% of having a special chance of having a special ability mm. okay I'm, I'm gonna upgrade weapons now because I'm pretty happy with what I have Ooh. See, that's amazing. That's a that's a good start. Man, you were so dead. Okay. So, change of plans. Uh, we need a fast weapon for this boss. A hundred percent. At least that's that's what I decided. How are we gonna get it? I don't know. I don't know. Like these these paths look very bad. Uh, I'm gonna go this way and try to get the gold. I will miss staggering enemies, but I... I don't know. I think you can't really do it. Mm. They are good, but I don't care about throwing axes. this run, I'd rather have a weapon I'm sure I can deal damage with. And that will be a sword or a claw in my case. Because I feel I'm more confident with these. They really want me to use this mechanic. I mean, it helped us last time, so I really can't complain. But, uh... Is it worth the hassle? Like, that's the real question. Because I went way overboard to try to use it. And that got me tons of corruption, um, tons of damage in the first place. So... What? Oh, okay. But I was locked in place. That was intended, by the way. It's a very good way of showing you how mechanics work and interact. Okay, there we go. Get in the heal. I have to figure out how these things work. Okay, now I know. If you attack them, they 
do the the thing. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That was unfair. I wasn't in range. I digress. Mm -hmm. Less corruption and dex. Lightning damage and constitution. Um, let's do this here. I need I need as much damage as possible because the longer you are in a room with the final boss, the harder it, it will be for you to somehow wiggle it. Like that that boss is no joke. Seriously, that guy is no joke. That was he... No? That was some free healing there that I missed. Are there? Yeah. There are. Perfect. So that's free healing. So the, the environment thing is very good. Like, it's, uh, it's tons of healing. If you know how to use it. For example, don't, don't go for the roots, don't go, don't go for the extremely specific stuff. Just go for the easy things, you know? And you'll get a benefit of it 100% of the time. Uh, by the way, from what I've seen, uh, because of the layout of the temples, this is kind of like... Uh, so obviously it's generated randomly, right? But even in randomness, there is uh, a way you build this labyrinth that kind of makes it um, be built in some sort of way where you have to include these rooms. So that's why I always go to the left. Because even though I could be unlucky and there could be a chance of going to the door, the doors will still be at the top, left or right. So if you go to the left, there seems to be more chance to getting uh, one of these rooms, even though theoretically you could say the same for the right. But since it's easier for the door to be right away on the right side, and it's what's happened to me tons of times, that's why I've have, I have the feeling that it's better to to go the other way around. Because the doors are usually always, you know, straight on. Like up front. Um, no single source of damage should take and exceed 15% of max health. Mm, that's bad. No, that's not bad. Because the I think that the spinning... Okay, so in this case, I'm starting to wonder whether some attacks from the bosses count as just one single attack. And I think this will be amazing for the spin-to-win thing he does. We'll see. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'll get wrecked. So... Just don't get hit by it. Good advice, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, perfect. I know that I didn't need to 
I know. But it's the creed. Oh. The big guy. Okay. He basically... He basically ignores your damage. He doesn't care. He will still hit you. Oh, by the way, you could light this up and then pass. I just forgot. Got the gold. To pee. To pee. No. Okay. I mean, if you don't want to teleport to me, that's fine too. It's fine. Did I skip the weapon? I did, right? I think I skipped the weapon. Okay, gotta pay more attention. Healed there because of the environmental effects. Same thing here. You don't have to do that. Like, that's going overboard. Swift bow, not necessary, don't really need it. Stats. Yeah, I think that we can afford it. And it's tons of health and damage anyway. And now we have dexterity? Now. Okay, let's pray we get a decent weapon here. <laughs>
Oh, they're out of reach. Okay, see what I could do there. Go for this guy. And then just do this. Yeah. Jump towards me. Uh, he's not. Sorry, I'm just curious how far I can go with uh, using the environment. You shouldn't really go for all that. Because I was full HP. Mm, getting the curse anyway, so. Hmm. Don't need restoring health. Most of those weapons are useless to me. Create on perfect dodge. And more damage with a secondary weapon as a pistol. Not ideal. We still have three river rolls. Not taking slow weapons this time. Not gonna full charge it anytime soon. Would have to burn enemies for this to work okay. Would have to electrocute enemies first for this to work okay. Parry, not anytime soon. Removing corruption per enemy killed. That's fine, but I'm, I'm gonna risk it all. And I didn't get any weapons. Hmm, whatever. Okay, so you... Again, this... This is how it works. You win some, you lose some. You gotta risk it if you don't like it. Like regular enemies are concealed while in the shadows. Concealed enemies are revealed by light and when attacking. You deal 20% more damage in the darkness. Okay, this seems dangerous. That's fine, I guess. Always prioritize this guy, because he'll do that, and then he'll just TP to you. And that can be quite annoying. Okay. That was pretty good. Chance to click poison damage. Is it is it with a shield or with a main weapon though? Let's try it out. Yeah, let's try this out, I guess. It's not that much gold anyway. First boss. Uh, seriously, you have to evade with this guy. Uh, if you don't, you'll get tons of corruption. Get back. Get back. Oh, 
Uh, the problem with this boss is that you really shouldn't rush it. Um, I have the feeling that last time I really tried to kill him super fast. For no good reason, actually. And, uh, just take it slowly. Because there's no reason to rush. He'll just do his projectile thing. See? Can avoid them from far away. Near style. Can do a perfect dodge. Come back into combat super fast. Do your thing. He'll get in your face. Spawn, spawn five mines, not six. Oh, okay. I didn't know that would be a thing. So I had to evade twice, and I evaded just once. Um, the bullet help part of it is not that hard to evade, seriously. Um, will he do it? Kick it back. And yeah, bullet hell. If you're far away, you can do the near thing, which is something that had me worried, because I think you couldn't. And it was just... It was just me playing badly. Okay, the sometimes the bullet hell follows you, sometimes it doesn't. And here I was saying, don't rush the balls. Don't go to, don't try to go too fast. Just as you say it and try to teach others about how bad and detrimental it is, go and do it to show that it is indeed bad and detrimental. So I did it for you guys. Okay? If anyone asks, I did it for you. Yeah, co couldn't. This is annoying. This is very annoying. You should, you should really be careful with this guy, because, uh, I mean, yeah, one curse is out, but you get another one, which is pretty bad. Oh, uh, that's good. That's good too. Let's get this one, because we have a very good way and like good and stable way of healing. And, uh, doors, like, I would get corrupted anyway, so who cares. I am still going for the weapon. So, that's the thing. Blinding greed. Well, disappears after a short time. So, first thing we have to do, I guess, is uh, check for gold now. And then, and then do everything else. Seriously, focus this guy. He's ultra annoying. These two are not that bad. Let's 
see, that one's done so, and... Okay, well, I mean, he's quite bad because these guys are no joke. Just because of the sheer amount of HP they have. But still. You can't do them. Okay, so this is an improved version of my sword. Uh, more damage if I have a pistol, 30% more damage in darkness, which... <sighs> at that boss will be okay. And 20% to inflict lightning damage. Uh, this is ideal. From the things we've seen so far, uh, this is the best I'll get. So I'm going to accept this weapon and try to improve it. As much as humanly possible. Okay, so... It's when you see the gold. Did you see that I saw the gold and it started disappearing? Uh, just wanted to heal there. See? Uh, I saw the gold, I knew it was there. But I would have taken some damage if I went for it. As soon as I see it, it goes poof. I mean, it is bad, because you could get much more gold. But... It won't break your run or anything. Constitution, I will take it for now. It's, it's okay. percent of damage taken in gold. Didn't I have that? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. So let's just... Uh... Let's just stack it at this point. I feel that I'll need this at the boss. And I feel that this is important too. Let the... Stuck in fast begin. Nope. No, my gold. Okay. So, what do we have here? Upgrade. No more gold in our way. And I feel that double upgrade here is quite a silly move if you're able to get stats, which is the same. So I'll go for stats twice. There. 
Spooky TP to me. to heal, like fully heal. Uh, Constitution stack a dagger. Mm. Not interested right now. I leave it there just in case I take some damage. Because it's a very easy way to heal myself. Try to parry him. There we go. Could take the risk because if I took any damage, I would just heal myself with a dagger. Like boop. Hmm. We will obviously upgrade the sword. And it's 70, I will get another curse, but um, you should be able to do the boss with like 3 to 4 curses. The We've seen already that the big one is the 5th one. Anything before that is fine. Um, I don't feel that any of the curses have been so bad as to break my runs. For example, this one is one of the worst ones, where you have to be very careful with your gold. Like, from now on, I won't just spend any gold. That's it. But it's still not as bad as to break your run. Okay. Thank you for healing me. I do. Poison. Not dealing poison this time around. Don't have any constitution, so sometimes you'll you won't be able to use any of those. Let me drop many more skulls here. Not sure if you noticed, but it's a huge increase. Kill a healer too. I didn't realize that at the at first. Anytime he does the charging thing, he's actually healing uh, the other enemies. Hmm. We are gonna do tons of blood offering coast. And 20% is no joke. But that's amazing. Um, we're committed to Dex. So... This is the last time we're offering gold. I really hope... yeah, three... okay, it's exactly the gold I need, more or less. Uh, cause, uh, that will be one door, two, three, we should be fine. We should be fine. I, w I might get 300 damage at the boss. But that's if I'm... 
very unlucky. And I got and I get no gold whatsoever. So let's hope we do get some gold. Forgot about the curse. Okay. I totally forgot about the gold curse. So careful with that. Yeah, yeah, well, we're fine. Or not. Oh, very true. I can get gold from getting hit. Wait for it. Okay, wait, so I can do this. Oh. And then I could lure the enemies. Oh. Regenerate, please. That's rude. Okay, so I... I might need to heal later. But for now, we're fine. Like, we can pass all the doors we need. And we could get more damage, which is just 30. Just 30! And we're getting tons of damage for it. Cool. Oh, and again, we're healed here, so... My god, healing... Sometimes healing is the hardest thing to come by, sometimes it's just... Everywhere. It's the same attack. Nothing here. Oh, the soul. Why did you do that? You shouldn't have destroyed the environmental thingy. I wanted to heal with it. Don't need that. I always forget that you can light the enemies up with your torch. For the bonus fire damage. So please remember that. Hmm. He didn't turn towards me. So I'm curious now, is he locked into that attack? Is he? Health and treasure find. We are getting another curse anyway, at some point. My question is, shall we get it here? We don't need more treasure find. And having a, a bad curse later. No, let's let's do the hell. Yeah, let's do the health. Uh, it's not that much. I will get another curse, but I will get it anyway later. So it's just uh, postponing the 
inevitable because I will go for the relic and I probably will want this relic. There are a few times you get a bad offer at the relics stand thingy. Uh, visions of madness. Um, taking damage causes hallucinations and stamina has no cost. With the boss we're dealing with, that's fine. The only downside is that we won't see the UI. Because uh, madness is basically... Everything goes black and white and you don't see the UI. Me, that's why that's why I did that. Uh, we really need to save more skulls. Just chill. Poor health. Uh, it's useless, I mean, I know. I was at full health, but whatever. Lightning damage. Poison attacks. 4 15 damage in the darkness, which is... Um, I'm doing this because I know that this is the last boss. Throwing away this here, getting the damage in Constitution, and again, I know that nothing will happen. I think I didn't have anything that did... 20% chance to inflict lightning damage. But this is more constant damage, and it gives me more life. But this is nothing to sneeze at, and it also gives me more life. Much more life, by the way. We're gonna get this here, even if... Like, it won't be as much constant damage as it could be. But it's still pretty good. Because the 20% is almost every fifth hit. If you're lucky with the... The chances. Because it doesn't mean it has to be, but... It's still okay. So I'm a dude. Here we go again. Mm. Gotta be very careful with this guy. Just never attack him when you're not sure you can attack him. Because he will, at some point, he will just go crazy and start attacking all the time. And he's got very good dodge mechanics. So you have to be very sure that you can attack. And you have to know. See? Ooh, he was glowing. Okay. Okay. I kinda start to understand his mechanics. So he has a damaging phase. See? Glowing. That means that he'll start attacking like crazy. I think. Or is he just burnt? I think he was just burnt. Okay. So I have no idea about his mechanics then. Ooh. 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 That's tons of damage. Evade. Abort. Abort. He's not that good at range. Like, if you avoid his projectile, you are mainly fine. Be very careful with that, though, because it, it can... Be. Ooh, that's 200 damage. 
So we're at, what, 800? Or 900 life? Oh, much more. I, I didn't realize that I, I had so much life left. See, that, that will get you. What, you didn't expect me to retaliate? Huh. <laughs> okay, no, just <laughs> ignore that, please. But uh, Yeah, so if you know when he's going to attack and you know how to perfect dodge, you can basically destroy th this guy. So I, I still took some damage. I, I mean, it wasn't perfect. We lost um, 700 HP in the end. But still, you could do it with the base HP and be just fine. So... Let's do a recap. Uh, the, the attacks on this guy are very clear, so I, I don't really think that we need it. Uh, but... Um, first thing first, stands back, throws something at you. Um, same thing as any archer, as any other enemy, so that should be easy to avoid because you've done it thousands of times. Uh, charges an attack and does slash and slash, they follow you. So, really have to either dodge that perfectly or be very far away from him. Uh, charges both claws, attacks up front. It's super long range. Like, I think it is longer than the spear from the um, spear serpents. So, gotta be super careful with that if you're avoiding backwards. Because if it's not a perfect dodge, you will get hit. Uh, then he has a Nova. Basically, he stands still, charges, and then releases poison around him. The, like, the circle is super small. So you shouldn't get hit by it. And he doesn't do it that often. And the worst, in my opinion, is uh, the whirlwind. If you are close to him, like this time, he, didn't, he hasn't done it as much as uh, last time. But when he does the whirlwind, it's horrible. Because uh, if you're close to him, uh, you have to perfect dodge two or three times, depending on the situation. And, I mean, it's hard. It's hard to know the frame where you have to dodge, 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 you know? And it has to be perfectly timed. But still, I mean, 33 minutes. We did the run. We killed the guy. And we got the emblem. So, good for us. Like, we still don't have enough skulls to upgrade our main weapons. But, there we have a claw for our next run. Weight plates. Okay, life, life's good. Anyway, uh, thanks so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run, I hope you enjoyed the boss. Uh, and until next time, so if you feel like it, subscribe. More videos coming. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.